The mining and pastoral region has some of the most incredible, unique and wild places in Western Australia. Ningaloo Reef, Karajini, Kalamili, National Parks, Bunkanir Archipelago, the horizontal waterfalls, the list goes on. Protecting our state's precious places is protecting our state's future. We need to shift our thinking around new industry and fossil fuel projects towards a focus on sustainable, regional specific industries, opportunity creation and the expansion of tourism statewide. We have a plan to transition to 100% renewable energy by 2030 that involves significant investment in regional WA. We want to see solar installations in the gold fields that can produce more than 30% of the state's electricity and over 5,000 jobs and a review of the take or pay gas contracts to enable flexibility in the energy systems in the north. Aboriginal people and culture must be properly recognised before we can close the gap. We want certainty for people living on country that they will not have their access to basic services cut off. We don't want history repeating itself. We want to rewrite the Aboriginal Heritage Act to reflect contemporary needs. A fair and balanced solution to WA's long contested heritage management systems that will benefit all heritage stakeholders, including industry. We're committed to 15-year contracts for Indigenous rangers to provide job security and certainty of funding. Over 5 million hectares of idle government-owned pastoral land could facilitate the creation of 66 new ranger parks. The Greens understand that privatisation of Western Power and the sale of Utah Point processing facility will cost our state long-term income and local jobs. Fixing $41 billion worth of state debt, the highest ever, will take time and we mustn't lose important revenue streams for short-term gain or continue to rely on the success of single industries for our state's prosperity.